Hi, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant and I'm going to teach you today how to use an espresso machine. Espresso machines may come across as being a bit mysterious and intimidating, but actually once you learn the basics, you will be able to be your own barista. To make a shot of espresso, you're going to take your portafilter and some pre-ground espresso coffee. Uh, there is no difference between the type of coffee that makes espresso or that makes regular drip coffee. It's actually the way that it's been roasted. Most espresso roasts are extremely dark and then they're ground very fine. Just going to take your portafilter and fill it up with your finely ground espresso. And what I mean by finely ground is that it's basically in a powdered form. Um, it's not very coarse at all. You're going to knock this on the side a little bit. Take your pinky finger and go across the top to make a level even surface. Then you're going to take your tamper and you're going to apply 40 pounds of pressure and press down and turn slightly. Knock off any excess back into your into your coffee grinds there and then apply pressure one more time. Once your portafilter is in place you can go ahead and turn on your group head or your portafilter and you should get some very nice espresso coming out. Now again, it takes a lot of pressure to push the water through the espresso. So when it comes out, it starts out being very um, light in its pour, and you'll, it'll be dark in color, um, but the pour won't be as intense. And as, it, as the espresso comes through, you'll see the color gets lighter and lighter. Right about there, you want to cut it off as the espresso starts getting too light. Um, if you let it go too long, then you'll get very bitter espresso. And um, you can see there that we have a very nice color and crema, which is the foamy stuff on top there of the espresso. Um, that is kind of the sweetness of the espresso that a lot of people enjoy. Okay, next we're going to learn how to steam milk. Now you're going to steam milk using some cold milk. Uh, you don't want to use room temperature or warm milk. You want to start with cold milk, so right out of the fridge is best. And you're going to want to prep your steam wand. Typically condensation creates water buildup in the steam wand, so you're just going to turn your steam wand uh, component on and you're going to clean it out so that there's no other water in there. Okay, so once you have steam coming out of there, then you know you're ready to steam your milk. The thing is that you want to be careful of is that the steam wand will get extremely hot. So you're going to want to use caution when pulling the steam wand forward. And basically all you're going to do is pull it forward. You're going to immerse your milk into the steam wand and then you're going to turn it on. And you're going to want to scratch the surface of the milk. Hear that sound? And that's what's going to start creating your foam. If you don't want a lot of foam, don't do a lot of scratching on the surface which is accomplished by pulling down the milk and allowing little bits of the steam to get underneath the milk. Once the milk goes into what I like to call the quiet zone, or the pitcher gets too hot to touch, you know that your milk is done. And what I mean by the quiet zone is you'll basically stop hearing a deep or a loud sound being made by the steam. And once you get there, you can turn it off. My name is Joey Papa, and that's how you use an espresso machine.